Hello, and welcome to Cape Horn Engineering. In this short video, I will talk you through the steps to successfully submit your first sales simulation in an automatic web-based simulation service, the Aerosim Portal. You can access the Aerosim Portal by visiting the Cape Horn Engineering website and clicking on the Aerosim Portal at the top menu, where you'll find some general information and the link to the login page. Click on the orange button to enter the portal. From here, you can create your account, if you haven't done so already, or just log in with your credentials if you already have an account. If you haven't already created an account, you will need to fill in this form with your name, email address, company name or affiliation, your address and your country of residence. You will immediately be logged onto your account and you can start submitting simulations. However, it is advisable that you familiarise yourself with the portal before doing so. On the top menu you will find access to your profile where you can check your available tokens and edit your information. For instance, adding your VAT number if you have not done so during sign up. On the top menu you will also find the user guide or by clicking the orange button. Please review the user guides carefully at least once. There you will find information about getting started, the description of the required and optional inputs, how to prepare your geometries and the default coordinate systems. If you have any doubt, please contact us via email, phone or Skype and we will be more than happy to assist you and clarify any questions for you. Please pay particular attention to the sailing conditions, which are used in the runmatrix.csv. Here you can find a template of the runmatrix.csv that you can download and edit for your specific case. To prepare a submission, you will need to create a single zip file containing the CAD files and the runmatrix.csv. Here you can see a runmatrix.csv with three cases, with all the headings taken from the user guide. You can give the zip file any name you'd like. However, the runmatrix.csv file should be named in that specific way. Once the file is prepared, check your profile to see if you have enough tokens for the number of cases you want to run. We prepared a run matrix with three cases so we have enough tokens here. But if you require more, you can purchase additional tokens. Out of comfort and security, we use the PayPal payment system. You can pay using an existing PayPal account or simply check out as a guest with a debit or credit card. Next, back to the home in the portal, click on the orange button Run Simulations to upload your cases. You can then upload the zip file created earlier, give the simulation case any name you'd like and submit it. Once submitted, you will see the simulation listed below. While the simulation is running, you can download Star V Plus that will allow you to view the visualization file delivered with the results. You will find the download button on the user guide. Simply click on the button and run the file. The simulations take on average less than one hour to complete. Once they finish running, you will receive an email notifying you to log onto the portal to download the results. Once you have downloaded the results, you will find report PDF files that are generated by the Aerosim portal for each case. At the top in the reports you can see the input conditions and the results. The values in these tables are also given in CSV format with one file for each case and one with the values for all cases together. The report also contains many images with views and cut planes showing pressure coefficients and velocity magnitudes with constrained streamlines. If specified in the run matrix, the results can also come with the pressure file for you to use with your own FSI software. Please contact us for further details regarding this feature. In the scene zip, you will find the visualization file called scene.sce. If you had already installed the star view viewer from the link in the user guide, you can open the scene file by double clicking on it. The scene files contain an interactive model of the case showing the velocity magnitude and the constrained streamlines. You can change the side views by using the shortcuts S to show the side views, F to show you the front or back views, and T to show you the top or the bottom. Press R if you want to reset the view. You can rotate the model by left clicking and dragging. You can drag the model by right clicking and dragging. And you can zoom in and out by scrolling with the middle mouse button. 
Thank you for watching. We hope you have a smooth start using the service. And remember, contact us if you're stuck or having any issues with your simulations.